hello everyone today I'm going to show you that uh, how to use the regex expression and uh, I hope you heard about the regex pattern right so uh, recently I just uh, read one tutorial for uh, regex and uh, I found I took some screenshots from there and uh, I found it very useful so without wasting time let me show you that uh, how to use it so I, I just uh, going going through to show just uh, very basics fundamentals to start the regex pattern <coughs> okay so you can create your own regex too uh, rather than just searching on the Google okay so let's start so first of all I am using this regextexture.com which is online site you can also use it so let me show you that what will will get here but uh, before it let me show you that uh, <coughs> regextexture I am going to say regex have a pattern and how this pattern will start so it will start from the double slash and in double slash we wrote our logic and the last one you see that attributes which I'm going to show you over here so here you can find the flags and here you have a three flags so one is G M and I so G stands for the global I stand for the ignore case and multi line. So multi line nothing but it it's just a new line if you have a <coughs> if you have a paragraph so that we can consider as a multi line paragraph right now come to this so here it's already written the double slash so we doesn't need to write it again so every regex start with the double slash and in between these two slashes we wrote our logic that's g stands for the global so one by one let's understand okay so in my list i have first of all this uh, uh, square brackets so let me start from it so let me put the square bracket before it let's start the very basic so I'm writing the ABC okay now ABC it is a string so for the test string you can write here over here that I'm going to write that A B and C as you can see it will match so whenever it matches it will converted or highlighted with the blue color that's it so if I wrote the other character it won't match but if I wrote the A B C again it will match okay so it will work like this A B A B C perfect gotcha now first thing was we have this square bracket in square bracket whatever we write in the square bracket it will consider as a single character that's it so if I write the A B and C so it will consider as a single character <coughs> so single character by means A B and C so let's see A B and C as you can see there is a space between A B and C so as you can see uh, not like this but okay fine so if I wrote another character it won't match C if I press C now it will match the single character okay so this is how the square bracket work and we have also angular bracket circular bracket not angular sorry <laughs> so this is circular bracket so circular bracket work as a <coughs> string I mean to say whatever we write inside it will consider as a string so it matches the whole sequence right so if I wrote the ABC again then random character ABC again so it will 
match the whole string <coughs> now on continue on this let me show you that if I press the capital I mean to say if I wrote into the capital A B C it won't match why because it will just matches the small ABC but I wanted to match this uh, caps ABC too how can I do that just enable the ignore case so by the ignore case we mean to say whether it is small or capital you should match the both one okay so right now we didn't uh, included the I that is ignore so that's why it's consider I mean to say matches the only the small ABC okay let me <coughs> enable the ignore case so now you as you can see it will matches the both uh, small and caps alphabets okay now another thing was I want to cover here that uh, if I press the star over here what does it mean no but uh, this is wrong example of first star so let me start with this if I press start with the a, 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 a occurrence so star star says matches zero or more of the preceding token so doesn't matter if there is uh, how many number of a present okay but if I changes but make sure it will start with the a if i start with the b then it won't match why because we didn't tell into our pattern that uh, <coughs> our string can be start with another letter what we wrote is our string will start with the letter a and it could be occurrence of zero or more okay so that's why it won't match perfect but if I say it will start if I uh, replace with the plus it will match now the plus it means zero not the zero but the one or more see match one or more of the preceding token so you can keep practicing on what uh, by your different testing string so you can identify what is a star denotes and what is a plus denotes. so star is stands for zero or more occurrence and uh, plus stands for the one or more occurrence that's it nothing more in it now next pattern I want to show that if I wrote ABC it will match the ABC let me first uh, uh, uncheck this ignore case now abc okay and type a random character over here with except a let's see okay now what i want except matching abc a character i want to matching the rest of the character so what i need to do just put this symbol that's it so by this symbol you can say except abc match the all character okay now next thing i want to match the all small uh, small case alphabets so a to z this is how we can match same for caps so let me wrote some caps character over here so all are matching and same for number so 0 dash 9 and let me write down some numbers over here okay now this is how uh, it gonna work that uh, small and capital case and uh, numbers but what I want I don't want to match any of this so I just put the the symbol okay but it will matches the space but uh, I will cover it later what is a space and how it will be identified using the pattern so up to up to this yeah uh, I hope it is clear now okay let's see now 
let's remove it let's see this is go to the screenshot and uh, we already cover uh, this part now there is a number okay so let me show you what it means let me write down the p and after p i want to write 2 what does it mean if i press a single p it won't match but when i press again p it will match so this in this uh, curly braces we going to tell that uh, we need to match a uh, two uh, two piece I mean to say okay you you will identify so we actually uh, I <coughs> we actually wrote this uh, two as the length of the P so if I uh, write again P so this is become a three I mean to say length of P is three so that's why it's not matching but if I again press P so length of 2 will be match so and so on okay but what I want I can also give the range to that 2 to 3 you can match so if I write only the single P it won't match but double P it will match 3 P it will match now the fourth P won't match so you can try accordingly and you can also leave this as empty so to match the all piece but the thing was uh, minimum p was 2 the single p won't match ok that's it now next one is this symbol is using for c in bracket we have used this so in bracket it means it has a different meaning that except rest of character right so if i wrote a to z so except a to z it will match the all character but without anything if you write like this it means the starting character should be p and dollar sign will be used for ending character so ends with the t so what i wrote start with the p and end with the t so dollar is signed for the end okay so when i wrote t it will match if i in between if i wrote any character it won't match why because we just uh, we just write our pattern like start with p and end with t that's it now here is the uh, another uh, what we can say expression is in the picture there is a dot so dot is a dot we use for a single character so as you can see it this pattern will match so dot means any character doesn't matter but uh, in starting with p dot means any character that is our in our case that is t and ending with t so that pattern pattern will match but if i wrote the another two characters it won't match so what we can do put another single c as i say the dot it stands for the single character it will match the single character okay so if i put another dots it will match the whole string but this is not uh, the proper way to match the string what we can do put the uh, circular bracket inside circular bracket we going to put a dot now we using the star to match the whole string so dot and star the combination of this what does it says that dot stands for single character and star says it can be zero or more occurrence so what do you mean by that see we already see this d and l o l this is more occurrence example of more occurrence right if i remove this still it matches it means zero if there is a no character in between p and t still it will matches because of that star okay perfect now the next thing 
we're going to pick the we already covered this this okay this also covered okay now very uh, uh, small things are remaining to show now I'm starting with this um, bracket in bracket we're going to say uh, we're going to write first of all this is a backslash backslash with the s so s stands for the space so when I press the space bar it will matches like this if I press the tab it will also match because tab is also a kind of you know space right if I write the character capital character number or a special string it want my special character I mean to say now if I want to so if I want to match all the uh, character except the space so what I can do just type the capital S as you can see here okay now T stands for the tab so I press the two two or three times tabs so it it gonna match there is a no alternate of capital T like okay so only the space Y space have a small and capital S now going to the word that is W so word will matching the all the characters or we can say alphanumeric okay there is a small W and if we going to write the capital W it will match the all uh, character instead of the alphanumeric okay now same for the digit so small d and capital D now that's it now wha what I want that uh, we have everything for alphanumeric uh, to matching the words to match the digits but we don't have anything to match this uh, uh, w w what we can say it is special characters right so what we can do we can write a to z capital a to z and 0 to 9 but we don't want to match this so what we gonna do uh, just put this symbol so it will match the all uh, special character but here is the thing that it will also matches the space and the tab so what we gonna do that x so also we are gonna execute the space and the tab tab is already removed so this is how you can play with this regular expression so thank you so much that's it for now because i have covered everything which i learned from the tutorial thank you